Welcome to another episode of Answers About Alzheimer's. And if it's your first time here, welcome to our family. My name is Deborah, and I'm here to answer all of your questions about Alzheimer's and other dementias. Studies have shown that we learn more when we write things down and when we participate. So I'm going to ask you to comment often down in that chat box. This will help you retain what you're hearing and what I'm trying to teach you. So make sure you're commenting down below in the comment box. Today, I want to talk about the 10 warning signs, but I discovered another one, and I believe there are 11 signs to early detection. So let's jump right into it, and let's talk about the 11, not 10, warning signs of Alzheimer's. The first warning sign is that when we are having trouble with our memory, that it impacts our day-to-day -day living. And by that I mean when the memory impairment is causing a disruption in the way that we spend our day. Some examples of day-to-day -day warning signs would be having to rely on family members for assistance for things that the person used to manage on their own. For instance, remembering appointments or what day it is or filling up the pillbox. The person may be forgetting things that were recently learned, so it's affecting our short-term memory, things that we've just learned. People may be asking for the same information over and over or repeating themselves. Number two, challenges with executive functioning. Executive functioning is the ability to plan or solve problems. People with Alzheimer's may experience changes in their abilities and they may have trouble perhaps following a recipe or paying the bills. They may have difficulty concentrating and it may take them much, much longer to do things that they once did before with ease. They may no longer be able to follow the instructions of a game. Number three, the person with Alzheimer's will have difficulty completing a task that is familiar to them. They may have trouble driving to a familiar place this actually happened to my mother. I remember she told me once that she would drive from her condo to the store, and then if she wanted to make another errand, she would have to go home first and then start from the beginning and leave from home to go to church or to a friend's house. She would always have to start from her condo. She could go from A to B, but not B to C. So warning sign number four is confusion with dates, time, or place. The person with Alzheimer's may lose track of the date and be unable to figure out ways to maybe look at the TV or the newspaper to get the date. They may not know what season it is and have trouble with how quickly or slowly the passage of time is. They might not know where or how they got there. Number five, the brain has trouble understanding the environment. The Alzheimer's brain has a very difficult time interpreting visual images and the space around us. This person may be showing signs of difficulty reading or maybe they stop reading altogether because they don't understand the words any longer. They will have problems judging distances and determining colors and contrast that goes way beyond normal aging. Warning sign number six. For this one, people will be having problems with language, with their words, or with writing. The Alzheimer's brain has a problem following a conversation or cannot concentrate on a conversation if there are several people or multiple conversations going on simultaneously. They need a lot more time to process. They may stop in the middle of a sentence and be unable to finish a thought they might have difficulty finding the right word that they're looking for or use the wrong name for an item. Warning sign number seven. This warning sign involves misplacing items and the inability to retrace your steps. So if you or I misplace the car keys, we could probably think, when was the last time I used those car keys? Where did I go from that point? And what did I do? And retrace each step and search for the keys 
by going backwards. This is very difficult for the person with dementia. They have a very difficult time retracing their steps. When items are lost, they also may be found in very unusual places. For example, you wouldn't find your car keys in the dog dish, or you wouldn't find your car keys in the oven or the mailbox, right? Tip number eight, or rather warning sign number eight, is poor judgment. I know, I can see you guys just like nodding, poor judgment. So people with Alzheimer's may not be making the best decisions for themselves. For example, they may get scammed easier, or maybe they're wearing the wrong clothing for the weather conditions. They may decide that they no longer need their medications and stop taking them. Number nine, withdrawing from social activities. People with Alzheimer's will start to retreat because in their head, they know that they're not up to par. In most cases, they have fear and they are afraid that someone will call them out on it and notice that something is wrong. So they tend to start withdrawing from social activities. This could include work, family gatherings, or maybe religious services. So be on the lookout for that. Number 10, personality changes and changes in mood. And again, this one can result in isolation. Their mood may be changing because they realize something is wrong and it's scary to them. They may get depressed. They may be fearful or have heightened anxiety and agitation. They may be going through some personality changes because the limbic system of the brain is under attack. And that's where our personality traits are stored. Someone who may normally be a delightful, sweet person may be showing signs of aggression and anger. So this particular thing actually happened to my mother. She started having some personality changes. My mom was one of those people who would never ever say anything rude or confrontational to anyone. And I remember she started kind of, her filter started disappearing and she would start saying things to me that she would never ever say to, to me before. And it really hurt my feelings. I remember one time we had all gone out to lunch, my husband and my daughter and myself and my mom. And I somehow it came up and I said something like, oh, I'm skinny or something like that. And she said, you think you're skinny? And I just... I was taken so aback by it because it was so out of character for her, for her to say something like that. And so when you start recognizing that your loved one is maybe their personality is changing a little bit or their filter doesn't exist anymore, that is definitely a really big warning sign and you should be taking note of that. So now my favorite one, number 11, this is my addition to the typical 10 warning signs. The 11th warning sign of Alzheimer's is when others notice a problem. If the people closest to you are noticing changes in personality, mood swings, problem solving, language skills, memory issues, completing simple tasks, and heightened confusion, this is the biggest warning sign of all. Don't you agree? If those around you are showing concern or if you have concern for others, don't ignore it. Encourage them to see a doctor because in some cases, these symptoms can be treated or maybe even reversed. If it turns out that it is a diagnosis of Alzheimer's or another irreversible type of dementia, early diagnosis is important so that you can prepare and so that you and your family can prepare. This can be a devastating blow. And the more knowledge you can acquire from videos like these, and the more support you can rally around yourself, the better. Comment below and ask me your questions. I'll give you the answers. Thanks for spending your time with me today. My name is Deborah, and together we can. Would you like to make sure that you're never missing any of our new content? Just make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you'll never be left out. 
Are you a spouse or a child trying desperately to take care of a person with dementia? Do you feel like you're fighting an uphill battle? What would it mean to you if you could lower your stress level by 80 to 90%? Just imagine the relief you would feel if you could significantly reduce your stress every single day. It's possible. It's actually more than possible. In fact, I'll guarantee it. I have the secret to your dementia peace of mind. Save yourself. Save your relationship. Find out how this proven system can help you get your life back. Go to our website and book a call with a dementia coach to begin a better life and get all of your questions answered. That website is answersaboutalz.org. Every class is full. Reserve your spot now.